It all went down there. Guys are talking so much I couldn't hear over my music. I know. I know. Time I run. This is just the holy shit, I can't even hear my music channel. Hmm. Well, I'm out. I just want to let you know that you're shit. See you guys. Get some uh, risk of rain in later this week. Yeah, I was actually just thinking that. Um, I might I might go fuck around with that. I don't know. Yeah, I want to do some probably tomorrow or. The it's next day. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me know. I'm pretty much home all day and stuff, so I'm off tomorrow. I'm off tomorrow so. so. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll probably send you a two G message and we'll yeah, get in there. You got me on Steam, right? I think so. Probably. Let me check. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Tavenya, what what is what is she playing? She is playing Gyromancer. Gyromancer? What what is that? It's like it's yeah, hmm. it's similar to Puzzle Quest, um, with a few little twists that um, Puzzle Quest with you 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 have monsters that fight against other monsters, and it's uh, it's actually a really good game. Um, <laughs> Base Puzzle Quest Pokemon with some really interesting changes to the Match 3 format. Catch it on sale. It's actually a really good game. Hellbender's been raving about Abyss Odyssey. Yeah. Yeah, I should install that and play it. I got it. Ace. Holy fuck, oh, people's version. No. I need to install, uh. Yeah, Strider here, you here that I just picked up on sale yesterday, too. I, uh, beat my masochist run on Metro Last Life. There, there is something that's fun about playing with absolutely no no HUD at all. What, what happened to everybody? To everybody left. Yep. I, th no, I think this everybody was just ready to go. Because yeah, our, our team was yeah. just shit. The goons were doing alright, but everybody, all the puppies were just... Well, it was actually at the end pretty evenly split. Yeah, but early on it was a goon stack, and then it, it was. Down, which we need to really just keep in check if we're trying to keep the server. Yep. No, no, nobody was really complaining or anything. It was a good match. It was just, uh,. Somebody said, yeah, I think that's it for me, and I'm like, oh, you know what, yeah, me too. Yeah, Murder Wall is actually fun to drive, because most people don't realize it, and they just run away from you, or throw grenades at you. So right now is the best time to use him before people figure out that he's, like, super weak against bullets. Does it feel like hit registration has just gone to shit since this fucking DLC came out?
Yeah. I don't know. I just I seen like so many times. I I it feels like I can just rattle an entire fucking magazine off and and it just does nothing. Oh yeah, don't use the grenades. The grenades are shit. Use the fucking minigun. Yeah, five shots. Yeah, the minigun is amazing, and the grenade launcher, you pretty much have to direct shot them to, to fucking do anything. They do, like... God, I want to say they do uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of... What? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, they do... I want to I wanna say it was a, right around 15 points of damage. Yeah, no, their, their splash was... It's, it's like area splash is terrible. You really do have to direct shot to fucking make it work. Too small. I, th I think it might feel that way because you have the train thing cutting it in half. Yeah, it really is. It's fucking terrible, too. I really don't want to be down on this expansion because I love infantry combat. That's my favorite part. That's it's my favorite part of Battlefield. So it feels like being not happy with a lot of this stuff just feels weird to me. That a metaphor? Why does a mumble over overlay work? With goddamn, uh, you know that one thing, battlefield. Uh, because it, it works dude, on most other games for me. Uh, it works on DirectX nine and below games. Hmm. And DirectX 10 and above, the guys just, whoever he just works on Mumble is just basically like, man, whatever. Gotcha. You should have seen him. He fucking flipped on me. Um, when I was setting up, attempting to set up Mumble on a CentOS server, mm -hmm. he, like, lost it on me. He went so fucking berserk. Start screaming, banning uh, me. The from guy Twitter. who does mumble. Yeah, the guy who fucking works on mumble. Um, the it it there's a small group of them. Um, he flipped though. It was fucking. Why did he flip out? Uh, I asked him. I put a I put a trouble ticket in because uh, that's the only way you could get a hold of him. On Source Forge. I put a trouble to get in. Um, hey, I'd like to know a little bit more about, you know, how I can make this work on CentOS or Red Hat. You know, both of these are very common Linux installations. That's pretty much the way this guy thinks. If you're not, what? Like... Um, for businesses, you'll generally find them using Red Hat or CentOS or something like that because the stability of those versions of Linux is much higher than Red Hat, than, um, than Ubuntu or any of those. 
Uh, and it uses more standard stuff, and it has the the built-in stuff is all it's all pretty much business related. Yeah. So I so I put in a trouble ticket. He deletes the trouble ticket and doesn't say anything. So I ask him on Twitter, "Hey, why um, why do you seem to be having so much? Why is there? Does it seem to be like that? You don't want to answer my trouble ticket about Cintos? Well." Rackspace, um, Hostgator, and like four other fucking server hosts, Dreamhost, and a couple other ones, all retweet this fucking tweet. <laughs> and this dude flips out and just starts fucking like blocking me. He blocks me on Twitter. He's fucking like. But he's still, like, constantly fucking, like, insulting me on his Twitter. I just can't, you know, I'm blocked from saying any, from, you know, like, seeing it. So I'm, so I'm using another, a friend's account to see these fucking things. And the guy's flipping out on that. He flips out, closed the tech, the trouble ticket area on Source Forge for a little bit. Close down the forums for a little bit, and they all come back, and Cintos is now a banned word on both. <laughs> what? Yeah, not kidding. Go to the fucking Mumble for Mumble tr tr Trouble Support. Try to write a post with the word Cintos in it, and it will literally say that it's a banned word. Uh... I mean... I don't know what the dude's problem is, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Distro of choice is... is like... You, you gotta be hardcore, you gotta pick a side. This is like the, uh... The console wars of the early... early Nintendo Sega time, where... Damn. I mean, it's crazy, because, you know... Not to be rude to people who use Linux, but that's one of the reasons why Linux will never replace Windows. Sure, it's free, but you have 50 yeah, people. You have 50. Gonna... Um, probably it may happen. I mean, honestly, it's 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 more stable. That's a fan? Yeah. Like a it, hamster? It sounds like, like a hamster wheel. On fucking coke? You... Okay, so basically, I can, I can actually identify what kind of fan that is by sound. You have a frictionless fan that has go that the magnet has gone out on. No. No? God, I'm surprised. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought it was coming from the computer. Because, um... My fiance's when her frictionless because they're free, a lot of these the, your case fans are frictionless. Oh, the ball fans. Yeah, the ball bearingless, the frictionless fans, and hers was, and it sounded just like that when it went out, <laughs> which is a horrifying noise to come out of your computer. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, just drive up the stairs. Yeah, it should just drive up the stairs. Although sometimes the skid loader will just randomly decide to pirouette and spin around for no particular reason whatsoever. Um, in the second assault one, and you, you got a skid loader in that one too. Yeah, fire station driving. Uh, Gulf of Oman. Fires. By, does Firestorm have one too? I found one. It's to the left of one of the hangers. I've, I'm now spectating Haggard just to see this. Oh, oh yes! Oh no, you're going down the other side! Here it goes. Go, little skid loader, go! <laughs> That should be an achievement. Is that you on the back, never is? Nope. <laughs> Probably. Well, it might be like Wally. It might just kind of bounce up there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hey, I mean, this is. Oh yeah, there you go. Use the use the bucket to try and lift you up. To it. Well, this is dice physics. Dice. We should just drive it around and try to road kill the snipers. You know, all I can do is just picture somebody's face like they're just like, huh? What? Oh, the skid loader is acting as a spawn point. Oh, it does? Like, two people just. It, Listen up. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> you can't get off the tracks. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. It's... I mean, he advised objective Charlie is neutralized. And <laughs> one for each flag. We just take control of objective Charlie. This is the objective I want you to attack. Him. None of the enemies will take you up on your invite today. <laughs> Oh wait, we might have a taker. No, I just there's a there's a guy coming up. Two guys coming okay. up. They're you they they took a the yep, they coming up right now. Oh, did he just grenade launcher you? <laughs> I know the pickup sniper rifle is up there right now.
Oh, that was cool. Yeah, did you see that? Oh. Fire through that dude's nuts. Behind him. Objective Alpha is neutralized. Yeah. I would say that you have Murder Wally backup never else, but <laughs> I'd be surprised if Murder Wally can make it to A. Out of the 700 RPM guns, I I think I like the um, the CZ the best. And I think I was incorrect earlier when I said that the best gun in the game was probably the uh, I don't even remember which one I said. I think the AWS is probably still the best one in the game. Uh, I'd, it's like an Ace Twenty Three with a hundred rounds. Yeah, I, I can't. I just can't find a gun that feels right, like I did in Battlefield Three. Battlefield. Which one? The SKS, the AN ninety four, the uh, four sixteen. Have you uh, have you tried the CZ since the uh, last CZ? Match? No, no. CZ805, try that. Give that one a shot. Hmm. SKS has been the closest to, uh, I mean, the closest to getting where I wanted to be. No, it just, uh, it just resets Murder Wally. I love it. PC goons call it Wally -E too. Agreed. Um, it turned out they just put one in. They ended up merging both, nerfing. These are the things that came out of the CTE trials. Yeah. They turned it into one bot that has both the grenade launcher and the the like chain gun from the boats yeah the, yeah and then and then they just decided to not do that said it was you know kind of not worth doing that uh, and then they nerfed the fuck out of the riot shield Oh, wow. It so went bad. from being legit overpowered to a giant pile of garbage that you shouldn't use. Um, it now does about 15 points of damage per hit. So what's the fucking point of using it? Uh, nothing. It detonates, like, it, a single grenade will blow it up. Yeah. Uh, a single shot. Yeah. It should be able to. A single shot from a revolver or a sniper rifle or the deagle will blow out the window and then you can just headshot the guy right behind the window. 
it no longer shows up on you, the back of your character when you have it equipped, what? so it doesn't protect your back. To be fair, that was a really fucking stupid uh, hard line. Um, it effectively prevented you from taking damage from over a uh, two-thirds of your character model, dude. I can understand both sides on the complaints. I just think that it got over nerfed. There's no reason to use it now unless you just want to menace somebody with your um, your emblem. You know, I mean, if you want to like lay your dick butt on the thing and. That's kind of about the only use for it anymore. That's a shame. Uh, it's one of those ones that they nerfed. Re they nerfed that didn't make sense to me because, like, the maps got nerfed. Well, uh, from the beta to release, and that one. Wait, the, map? the maps, the 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 anti rocket device. Oh. A, they during the beta it blocked. It, Blocked grenades too. So it was a really good device to throw down, and it had it would block one grenade, and then it would have a cooldown of about thirty seconds, or no, two grenades, and then a cooldown of about thirty seconds before it would block one again, and it would refresh at like one every thirty seconds. Not bad. A completely good device. Eight. A rocket or a grid or any any type of you know it would I think the problem was that it also ate tank shells at the time. And again they over nerfed it to the point where it's just fucking useless. It eats hmm. one RPG a minute now. What what was that that eats the RPG? The oh. support device that you never see. Uh, yeah, I've actually literally never seen it. Um, and the thing is that, like, if you look at Black Ops 2's trophy system, which is essentially the same concept, uh, it's so much better than this thing, and they only have to put up with grenades over there. Hmm. Um, yeah, you could almost, except that everything just kills the shield. Yeah, you, you pretty much just described one of my loadouts. But the thing is that I see people who use... If I see a trophy system from my team in a game of Black Ops and we're playing Domination, I know we're going to win. You know, it's one of those devices that only people who think, hey, I should probably not get grenaded while I'm taking the point use. Yeah, because you got... Like, no fucking score for using that. But it was barely any points. When they announced it and they described it, I'm like, awesome, this is a trophy system, and I, that's one of the things Battlefield could use the most. Something that will just take up a little of the grenade spam and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So, why doesn't Mumble work on anything above DirectX 9? Uh, because the dude, the dude doesn't care to update it. He doesn't... Well, it's probably hard. The API changes that Microsoft made... Um... Make his... 
make transparency really fucking hard to do. And... I mean, Yeah, well, Source is uh, DirectX 9, so... Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, but you... Yeah, if you run Origin through Battlefield, you can get the Steam Overlay. Which is weird, but... If you look it up, there's a whole way to do it. Um, but basically, he just doesn't want to do it. He just the API is more confusing and less easy to use. Transparency is no longer something that's that's supported unless you want to do a multi-layered. You either have to do a multi-layered application, or you have to have access, direct access to the games. The game's uh, rendering system itself, which basically he couldn't figure out a way to do without, without basically getting people banned for hacking. Because if you, oh, that's, yeah, that's good. yeah, because with the same overlay, um, you would ba you could do anything with that overlay. You could do what hackers do, which is draw boxes around people and all kinds of shit like that. Hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it still kicks. They never fix that bug. I think they've just left it in there as, a, as like a joke. Uh, I think it's just that the, there's no reason to go back and change it. You know. For the ten people that play it. Yeah, exactly. Of course, you know, they're releasing new micro DLC for Black Ops 2. Really? Yeah. Micro DLC? That's like camos and character customizations and shit like that. But the great part is, they're releasing more, D more micro DLC and more... And they might actually start putting out blobs to map packs again. More of them. When you... Oh yeah, they're by like a huge margin. Last time... Yeah, the, oh yeah, you can always tell which product's doing well with Activision, because they go right after that one. You wanna watch these two boss fights? They're either watching Battle Log or they're seeing through something. Or Battle Screen. Okay, over yes. soon. Yeah, I'll leave that to us for having us. Playing the, uh, the first two worlds. This is strange. The resolution so high that I can't tell anything. Yeah, I like the Bulldog. I, it's just not... It's not gonna be a replacement for the Scar H as a long range. It's really a, a close sort of gun. Now, if you do this one thing, if, uh, if you kind of wiggle, like, it takes some practice to do it, but basically if you wiggle about one pixel, like about, in between about, I would say two to three pixels, so you're just like micro moving your mouse in just the tiniest increment, left and right while you're shooting the bulldog, it um, kind of does something funky to its recoil. This guy is unshootable. That's cool. Seriously, my 
any hit badge on any fucking person. jerky movements. The dead Elvis guy is just, like, reliant on that scope. Yeah, I'm spectating right now. Two more players are joining. Literally walked in between the two trains, the train in it, and the shed. He had no idea you were there. He ran right past you the first time and then turned around and shot you. Haggard, I don't know how the fuck you can tolerate that sound because it's driving me. Yeah, the dead Elvis guy, if he didn't have that fucking scope, he would never find any of you. That dude has the situational awareness of a small that? fucking dead hamster. He's using the iron B. Huh. This guy's movement, though, no, this the boss, the the Raven guy's movement is just some of the jerkiest fucking movement I have ever seen. Go nice, man, fucker. He's in the train. Top of him. Either he has just a hellaciously high sensitivity, or I'm gonna say he would be. Are there a lot of hacks for Battlefield 4? Actually, there are. Yeah, anything that worked in 3 worked in the beta and works now. People don't use the circle anymore. We took him down. We've taken control of objective echo. Yeah. He was up on the train tracks, that ladder right in front of you. Hacker, you should try the sword 21 out. Yep. Assault. It's a really slow fire rate, but it's it stays accurate for about the first 15 bullets, so it's really good. As long as you can choose the engagement distance and keep it at medium range, you will always win with that gun. Except for people who magically headshot you with guns. Every once in a while, some of the guns you'll just get that one burst shot that just drops a guy in Okay. Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Alright. See you later. With the SAR, you get, you tend to get that one burst pretty often. It's it's a really accurate gun. I don't know how he saw you up there, and you were not marked on the map. I don't know how he hit me. He was shooting in the box. Yeah, he was he was tap firing going two shots per 
And I don't know how he hit you, and I don't know how he knew you were up there. Because I couldn't see you, and you didn't have a Dorito over your head. That's you in that fucking thing, Nebrios. That's him chasing you. Oh, it's Hacker. Yeah. I'm gonna ban him. I'm too gonna ban him. There has been. He's the, he's got one shot that, that I'm really questionable on. The rest of them have been kind of like weird blind fire hip firing. Getting really tired of getting shot in the back in this fucking expansion. Yeah. This expansion seems to have exacerbated it. That right, that la that last that last thing he did, where he didn't kill either of you, was some really weird bullshit. I don't know if that's ping or what. What was happening? No, he was looking into the spot where you guys spawned before you guys spawned there. <laughs> Did you see that there, Yig? Uh, I was looking from Dead Elvis's perspective, and I saw him aim at somebody with the and then just with the AWS, and then just get cut down by two people like, on each side of him. Did he trade or? Because no, it doesn't I... give me the scores. I came up the stairs. I brought up my iron sights on the Raven and he immediately whipped over and killed me. He was listed as dead on my screen when he did that. Um, yeah. Can you record some of this shit, Yig? Yeah, I'll turn it on right now. How in the fuck did they know I was coming up there? I was no no. Yeah, his he's got really jerky movements. I'm actually dropping the fucking and actually he's turned your threshold up or something. Oh, so you must have your button pushed down more often than I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah, I just kept hearing your squeaking in between, like, everybody else talking sometimes, so you must have just been holding it down. Or... What the... We have lost objective Echo. I would expect that last thing that just happened to be... to happen if he had a ping of, like, 150. 
or plus. Um, that's not really enough to give you an advantage. Yeah, pretty much. I'm this close to banning him because I just watched that. He wasn't even even at you. Yeah, that was hip fire. Well, they, he got haggard with aim fire, but the second one was hip fire. And somebody else finished him off. I'm pretty bad at this game, too. Did you see that there? Yeah, it was he didn't even like have to look for Haggard there. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. Wow, that is really weird. Twitchy. Yeah, he's got super fucking twitchy movements. Uh, no. He's just quick. You notice he doesn't actually look around. Yeah, no, he, he doesn't do a lot of looking around. Uh, no, Clint Beastwood makes videos and just funny, goofy shit. Did you see that thing? Yeah, he walked around the building and... Was direct. I mean, he saw you running up the hill. He was no. That wasn't me. That just died there. Or whoever it was that died. He came uh, around that corner aiming at that position, though. Not a, not on my screen. On my screen, he was. Come on, Michael. Everett, where'd you? Oh, I think that is spectating too. I do have it recorded though, so I mean. Um. Did you see that video? Yeah, that was straight up fucking impossible. We have eyes, we have lost objective echo. Are you an admin too? Yeah, you're Because we have to get uh, a couple of admins together to determine a permaban. Uh, we are, and what I'll do is I'll just I'll just render this out and upload it somewhere so it can be downloaded because I really don't want to sit through Rev deciding to lecture us all again. Because I was within about a I was within about a breath of telling Rev to go fuck himself when he decided to go into his. We're not gonna be KFS, we're not banning, we're not kicking people, we're not doing any of this speech. I don't know who it was. Somebody fucking go went and Yeah, there there was no way that That was literally a 180 spin and aiming at you. Wanna go ahead and kick him, Yig? Ah, sorry, what was that, Nemrios? Wanna kick him or do you want me to kick him? Uh, you go ahead and kick him. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm... I'm kinda staying out of any server doings because... I was already within an, a breath of fucking telling Rev to go fuck himself. And I like Red, so I don't want to do that. You see him watching for that uh, four-wheeler there, Yig? Um, he can see it. He can see the the, the like where it's at, but that he's not paying attention. 
If he is, he's doing it in a magical way I've never seen before. Oh, check that out. His crosshair is uh, he's trying to jerk over to somebody. Yeah, it just keeps trying to jerk over that direction. That Elvis is legit, uh, and yeah. my guess yeah, was, like, my guess was that, that one of them was using battle screen to uh, just basically tell people where everybody was. Yeah, no, um, like Divinia used to do a couple of times. Yeah, because that shows you where everybody is. That's actually what I thought it was doing. Well, it shows anybody who spotted. Whoa, see, there no. There's no fucking way he could have known that. The level boundaries are really fucking weird on this map. One of the maps has a flight ceiling low enough that the UCAV hits it. That's pro I mean. No, it wasn't market. It was some, something yeah. else. Yeah, my mortars were hitting it in the fucking... Yeah. yeah. This is the kind of guy who's gonna get off on the idea of being kicked. Yeah. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to render this out into a reasonable um, 720p clip, you know, MP4 so it's nice and small, and I will upload it to either Dropbox or my, uh, like, 5,000 gigabytes that Microsoft has given me for storage, and... No, because I actually use my channel for stuff, and I don't... So, and then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just give you guys a download link. Oh, it's finally over. Yeah, see, he's the only one with a fishy score, too, really. Like, one of the yeah. other yeah. was just a camp camper. Alright, let me render that right now, so I don't forget. I've got like, eight clips to fucking render. I will help you cheese that if you go find a fucking empty, um, if you'll find an empty server. Not a problem. We'll catch you later, man. He hasn't been banned anywhere. But that's really... That's just... Really fishy? He, uh...